Preacher Diggers back at it again. This is my first day back water detecting, my first lake. What do you think we're gonna get? Uh, I probably say, what's the first ring we're gonna get? Let's make a little game with it. Uh, considering what I've been digging mostly in all these lakes around here in the last couple of years, stainless steel. So I th I'm gonna call it stainless steel. I'm hoping for gold. All right, let's, uh, let's get in here and hit this. And then I may go hit another lake after this, I'm not sure. So let's go see what we can find here on our first water hunting trip this year, 2024. All right, let's get at it. Well, I'm hunting with my AT Pro uh, today. My discrimination is at 30, and my sensitivity is all the way up. I like to have my sensitivity as high as I can go because a lot of people think that sensitivity is about how stuff deeper. It's not. It's on the edge of the coil, it's, it's how sensitive on the edge of the coil that it is that you can come across. So if you're swinging across uh, a target, and say the target's right out here, and you swing right here, that high sensitivity is going to pick that up where a low sensitivity won't. So it'll cause me to go in, over a little bit further and see what that's going to be. So I like to hunt in high sensitivity. If it gets a little jumpy, I'll put it down a bar. And uh, that's pretty much my setup for the AT Pro. So. Hopefully you guys, if you're hunting with a pro, uh, you can try that. And I'll put the uh, uh, settings up on the side here. You can check that out. And I've always got people asking me, how come you don't hunt with your Equinox or your Manticore in the water? And a simple reason is, is that I just don't want to put those expensive digital detectors in the water where the sand and the silt just tears them up, freezes up the shafts. And I just don't want to do that. So I always hunt with my AT Pro because the AT Pro is rugged, it handles the water very good, and plus I've detected with this thing since 2014, so I know the tones, I know the signals, I, can, I know what it is before I even dig it. It's a simple, quick return, uh, single frequency machine. You don't need a multiple frequency machine in the water. Everything that you're finding in the lakes uh, where I'm detecting is just daily drop finds, so you wanna get out there, it's just underneath the surface. So you don't need a sophisticated detector to do all that. I'll save all that for the land. Uh, but water is just pretty simple. I love my uh, Garrett AT Pro in the water. It's old school. I like it. And uh, nobody can say that, hey, you could find more with another detector because I find 70, 80, 90 to 100 something rings every summer. So I think it's doing its job on, in the water. So anyway, let's keep swinging. Let's see if we can find a good ring. I ain't got my first ring this year, so let's see what it's going to be. Well, my first little find was a little necklace. Uh, looked like a leaf that's bent on the on the tip. It looks silver, but it wasn't ringing up silver. But uh, I have to see if there's a marking on there later on. All right, let's keep swinging. Let's go for those rings. Not too far from that uh, other necklace, I found this gold looking, I don't know if it's gold or not, it's going to be one of those uh, Catholic saint necklaces. So I have to see if it's, uh, which saint it is, and see if it's got 14k stepped on it. But it's kind of encased like in some acrylic or something, I've never seen one like this before. But anyway, that's two good finds, that's kind of telling me it hasn't been hunted out here yet. So let's uh, keep swinging, let's see what else we can get. I'm going to 46, 47. To 48 that sounds like a stainless steel ring let's see if we can get scooped up on the first shot here let's see what it is no nope. missed it let's try it again All right. there it is 
What did I call? I called a stainless steel ring, didn't I? Let's make sure it's stainless steel. Yep, stainless steel ring. Ring number one. Well, you saw 46, 47, 48, real jumpy. That's going to be a stainless steel ring on the AT Pro. And uh, so I called it number one, number one ring. All right, let's see if we can't get a silver, get a gold out of this lake too. All right, keep swinging. Well, not too far from that other one, maybe about two or three steps away, I got that 4950 signal and uh, it's going to be a stainless steel ring as well, but it's a pretty stainless steel ring. I like them when they're shiny like that. All right, let's keep swinging, see what else we can get. Give me a 55, 56. Sounds like a tungsten ring. Jumping around like a stainless steel. Yep, I see it right there. See it right there. Yep, that uh, 57, 58 will be a tungsten ring. Um, pretty nice one. But uh, no, no silver, no gold. It's all tungsten, stainless steel. That's all I ever find. And today it's just been men's ring so far. So let's keep on swinging, see if we can find a gold. Well, I may have gotten my gold right here. It's a little nugget ring. It's like we've got diamond chips or something in it. So, uh, I don't know. Well, I can't see any markings on the inside. So maybe it's just a junker. So I'll let you know here. Well, as you're watching the video, you'll know. All right, let's keep swinging. See what else we can get. Well, I'm back out at the lake today. Gonna see what we can find. And so let's get to swinging. Let's see if we can dig up another a ring or, or two more with the rest that I found the other day. All right, let's keep going. Let's get a real hard hitting 50, 51, thinking it was going to be a nickel, hoping it was going to be a ring, but uh, it's neither one of them. It's uh, Pinky heart dog tag necklace. Never dug one of those. All right, let's keep swinging, see if we can't find us a good ring. getting a real jumpy sound when you're digging chains a lot of times they sound just like this it's going to be a piece of trash or like an earring real jumpy real staticky because the chain's all broken up and all that and uh looks like it's going to be a maybe a silver ring it could be white gold i'm not sure yet i can't see the markings on it it's a small little ankle bracelet it's got markings on it but uh i'll have to wait till i get back to the truck i don't wear glasses out here in the lake because i'm just going to lose them if i do and uh, these GoPros don't have a zoom on them, so I can't uh, see what it is. But anyway, that's a good find. Let's keep on swinging and see what else we can get. I guess today's going to be kind of a chain day. And because uh, this is my second chain, and it looks like it's going to be a, a stainless steel chain. And uh, again, ringing up real jumpy, staticky, like it's a piece of trash, but you dig them anyway. Even though it's silver, it still rings up pretty jumpy because it's a broken chain. But uh, I'll take a silver chain any day. Well, it definitely is a chain day for sure. This is going to be a, a real jumpy, grunty sound. It's going to be a stainless steel chain. And uh, didn't find any pendant to go with it, but 
hey i'll take these chains and uh, let's keep swinging let's see if we can't find uh, another ring and come away Well, as you saw, I got a 90 on the AT Pro, and that's always indicative of a silver ring. Didn't know if it's going to be a big silver or smaller silver. It's going to be a, a James Avery Hart uh, arrow ring, kind of a common James Avery ring I dig here in East Texas. But uh, I'll put it with my James Avery collection. Keep swinging. Let's see if we can't find uh, another ring, and I'm going to head off to another lake and see what we can find over there. So let's keep Bringing up like a something funny. It's definitely going to be something. I don't know what. Let's see if I can get it. It's bringing up like a, a tungsten ring, is what it sounds like. I can't seem to. Wow, this thing must be floating around on the bottom. I can't get it. All right, let's see what this mystery is. Oh gosh, look at that. That's a big old nice tungsten ring. Man, that's a big old ring. Big old nice tungsten. It was ringing up 68 to a 71. And uh, jumpy around like that. Usually a tungsten's a 68, 69, somewhere around there on the AT Pro. And that's a big old ring. That'll fit my finger. It's a gold, but I wish it was real gold. But anyway, I'll take it. Uh, so let's go. Let's keep on running. Uh, we done made one pass down and one pass back, and uh, that's what we found. Let's keep on swinging and see what else we can get. Sounds like another stainless steel ring. Tell you what, my scooping is off. Well, there's something floating around down here. Sounds like a ring. Let's see, it's in the scoop. Yep. That's uh, 47, 48. Sounds like a stainless steel ring every time. And it is, another stainless. It seems like that's all we're digging these days out here with all the younger generations, this tungsten and stainless steel. The days of silver and definitely the days of gold are almost gone in my area. Very seldom do you find gold rings, but lots of silver, but uh, you have to be the first one on it. So let's keep swinging and see what else we can get today. Well, let's get though. A 6970 and didn't sound like a tungsten ring and um, didn't sound like a silver ring either but it ended up being a silver ring a uh, silver probably a CZ uh, on it but uh, first ladies ring here for today so I'll take that so let's keep swinging see well what else we can get well 
Well, I'm out here in shoulder deep water. I was getting a real screaming signal. Couldn't even tell what number it was. Probably somewhere around up in the upper 80s. And I uh, thought it was just gonna be like a quarter and a dime or something, because it's had several different tones in there. But when I pulled it up, it uh, ended up being this uh, pretty class ring. It says white on one side and, and uh, class of 24 on the other. It's got some writing on the inside of it. And so uh, I'll be able to contact this young lady uh, that uh, she'll be just graduated and she's lost her ring yeah 2024 is what it says and so uh man that's pretty bad when you just graduate and lose your ring but anyway you lose them when you're out here in the deep water but uh hopefully i can contact her and get the information off this ring and uh let's see if we can't get this uh return back to her all right let's keep on swinging well i made it in from the lakes today i ended up going to three different lakes and um, really didn't know what to expect for the opening day of water season, my first time to get out there. And uh, my first, I went to three lakes, two different days. First day, got four rings. Second day, uh, I got five rings today. So total of nine different rings. That's, a, that's amazing. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, found a lot of other stuff as well. But I had a good time. These bugs are killing me out here by the woods. But anyway, uh, let me spin you around. Let me show you what I found on my very first water hunting uh, video for 2024. There's my aluminum, all my junk stuff, fishing stuff, all the vape pen stuff. There's bottle caps, aluminum caps, pull tabs, and beaver tails. That's all the trash uh, that I dug on this trip. I uh, got a couple of pair of sunglasses here. I ended up with uh, five, ten, uh, four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty-three quarters, and five, ten, fifteen, twenty-three dimes, and seven nickels, and five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, twenty-seven in my clad, my pennies, and that's there's my clad. Uh, definitely a lot of earrings. Here's all your hoop earrings that I found. And then some all-seeing eye earrings. How about that? I even got the matching set. Normally, I don't get to get both of them, but I did on that one. They were a little bit far apart, but I did find them. A little butterfly. I don't know what that thing is. I really don't know what this is either. I really don't know what that all-seeing eye. I don't know what uh, is up with the all-seeing eye. I don't know what that thing is. Those are just I don't know categories anyway. I did get a dog tag, um, nothing on the back of it, just a heart with two pinkies. I got some type of little leaf. I thought it was silver, but it's not silver. I got the best friend's heart, and I believe that's going to be a St. Benedict. And uh, I can't tell if it's gold. I can't see any markings on it. It looks gold, but I can't see any markings on it, so I'm going to say that it's not gold. I got a couple of bracelets as well. A little kid's bracelet here, then a 925 uh, ankle bracelet there. I got a couple of necklaces as well, chains. Uh, this is stainless steel. And I thought this was silver. But if you look, 14K. That's 14K white gold. Yes, I'm going to clean that up, and I've got a gold tester. I'll test that and double check for sure. Here's all my rings. I thought that was going to be a gold ring. It's just going to be a gold-plated ring, uh, non-precious. Here's all my silver, I mean my stainless steel rings. I've got this real nice one here. I got that one, and then that one I got today. Here's my tungsten rings. This is a real pretty wood inlay tungsten. And this one scared me for a second. I thought it was gold coming out of there, but it's a gold tungsten carbide ring. I dig more tungsten carbide and stainless steel than anything else. I did get some precious metals. I've got a James Avery. Um, this is about my fifth or sixth ring that I've dug on these right here, the heart arrow ring. James Avery is a Christian uh, silver ring. I did get this 925. That's going to be a CZ. And that'll clean up and shine up really, really well as, as well. And then I end up getting this class ring. And uh, with the initials on it, I was able to locate her uh, on Facebook, send her a message, send her mother a message. And when her mother got it, she goes, she didn't even tell me she lost it. So I hope I didn't get uh, Zoe is her name here. I hope I didn't get Zoe in trouble. 
Uh, but anyway, I think they're, they're very excited. I did make contact with the mom and the daughter, and her boyfriend is going to come by here uh, later on this evening and going to pick this up. And so I was glad to be able to get, give this back to her. And uh, it's a pretty ring, pretty ring. And uh, so glad that was going back home where it should be. And so there it is, folks. There's all the trash. And here's all the treasure. A nine ring journey this time. And like I always say, the greatest treasure isn't what you can go out to a lake and bring it stuff and do a little wrap up and put on your tailgate. The greatest treasure, my friends, is what can be found up in heaven. Keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just wish everybody happy hunting and God bless.